Recent rain may lead to a change in the water flowing into your faucets. Yes, so how do you know if you have a problem that needs to be fixed? Our expert has some advice on how to keep things flowing safely in your home. Danny Lifford uh, joins us uh, this morning here. And Danny, what are some of the signs that you have a problem with the drinking water in your house? Besides maybe the obvious, it's coming out brown type of a thing. Oof. Well, that, that's certainly a, one of the, the key things is the color of the water because you really want it to be pretty clear. And if you have anything that's yellow, brown, anything, not a good thing at all. And if it's a blue or green tint, probably have a little bit too much chlorine in it. Mm. And if it smells like rotten eggs, well, hydrogen sulfide, none of that is good. So you have to find out exactly what's in your water. First step is if you're on a municipality water system, which most of us are, then call for your uh, CCR, which is your Customer Confidence Report. Port. They're required to provide it to you to tell you exactly what's in the water. But for your real comfort level, pick up a home testing kit. These things are less than $20, and this particular one will point out 23 different problems that you may have in your water. But the very best is to call the EPA hotline and let them tell you a certified lab in your neck of the woods that can do a full report, not only tell you what's in the water, but tell you what you need to do to get it up to good, safe drinking standards. All right, so Danny, you get water that's coming out of your faucet. It either smells bad or you have a feeling that it's got a problem. You do your test that you just showed us there, uh, and all of a sudden it says, hey, I got, you got a problem with your water. What can you do? What do you do then after that? Well, there's, there's certainly several different things that you can do, different levels of filtration, different levels of cost. One of the things that we use at my house is a simple um, filter oh, yeah. pitcher, and you do nothing more than just fill it up. After you get it filled up, you can put it right in the refrigerator, and you'll have nice, cold, filtered water at any time. Another thing that's been around a long time is a faucet in type of filter that you just screw right on. It stays there. You have an on and off switch that can turn the filtration on or off. Also under the counter type units are readily available and fairly inexpensive and you may have a filter in your house that you're not even aware of filtering your water and that's if you have a refrigerator like this where you routinely get water out of it it has a filter in it now it can be located this one's located down on the bottom it can be located on the back of the refrigerator within the refrigerator go online and put the model number of your refrigerator in to find out exactly where that filter is and remember to change it on a regular basis now whole house filtration if you want to filter everything coming in your house, there's some new kits that are out right now that are very do-it-yourself friendly. They can be um, installed on an existing house. And, of course, they have an app to tell you exactly what your mm -hmm. water quality is. So several different ways to really go after that safe water.